please take a minute and uh, share some uh, key takeaways with our uh, audience. Absolutely. So um, key takeaway is if no matter where you are in the manufacturing chain, if you are put on notice that there has been an injury or certainly a serious injury involving your product, um, get your expert, your engineer, and your outside counsel um, to the scene within at least 20, 24 to 48 hours. Uh, get an early inspection, get an early sense of cause and origin, and also establish a rapport with law enforcement, even though, again, it may seem counterintuitive. Um, and again, once uh, you, uh, you know, are involved in litigation down the road, if you're in that manufacturing chain and you are, uh, uh, and even before then when you're in the design and sales phase as a component parts supplier, keep in mind um, the defenses you have and the duties that you have depending on where you're selling your products which would include, number one, passing along any warnings about your particular component uh, down the chain, ensuring that the person you're providing them to, even no matter where you are in the manufacturing chain, that it's reasonable for you to rely on the next person down the chain to, to pass along your warnings. Um, and also, if you want that component part supplier defense, do not substantially participate in the end product if you it can help it. If you do, you are going to be in the same soup with uh, your customer. And that's all I have to say in terms of a, a wrap-up of my piece. Judy? Uh, I, I guess the first um, takeaway I would say is that there are uh, there's lots of exceptions to every rule, and so I would encourage everyone to make sure at the front end of a case that they understand what the theories are uh, and what defenses might be available to them um, so that they can conduct um, meaningful discovery and and make sure that they're doing everything that they can in order to protect um, their client's interests and, and their client's defenses in a case. And with respect to a, a, a seller or other uh, non-manufacturing um, defendant in a case, um, I would encourage everybody to consider um, making a tender at the outset of the case as early as is uh, practical um, so that you can uh, hopefully get the benefit of a, an assumed defense. But if not, um, you can certainly um, establish uh, and bind in um, the manufacturer as the, as the facts of the case develop.